Hello, I'm Laura Punsonby and I'm the Honorary Botanist at the Museum and I've worked here a great long time. I hardly dare tell you how long I've worked here. But um, anyway, nearly all the time I've worked here I've been doing this plant table which shows um, wild plants of the area and everybody's very, very interested in it when they come into the museum. I think most people who come into a museum think they're going to go straight into the museum and a lot of people are quite surprised when they find there's living plants on show. So I make a nice display, make certain that everything's looking fresh and I give them fresh water every week. These are just the common wild plants of the area. I don't put anything unusual or rare because of conservation. And most of the plants which you see on this table here, they are collected from the wild plants um, in our particular garden. So I never um, pick anything unusual or uh, rare in any way. So um, I come here every Saturday and um, make the display. Every plant gets um, fresh water, I put new ones in. Um, and so it's, um, it's very gratifying to do because a lot of people come here and they really enjoy looking at it. I also do special displays. This is just, at the moment, we've just got sort of general wildflowers. But I also do ones on poisonous plants, which is very, uh, very uh, popular indeed. I do deadly nightshade with big blackberries and woody nightshade and henbane and giant hogweed and all sorts of things. And people really love this display. I think people always like the idea of poison. And um, I also do ones um, with Shakespeare quotations, Shakespeare's plants. I do one on grasses. Um, a lot of people, you know, sort of know about three grasses and when they come in here and see 30 grasses on display with all their names, they're rather excited about it. I also do one on herbs and spices. So anything to do with um, plants. I do on this uh, table here, but it, it must be kept up properly, um, not sort of pots of dying plants. So um, I've done that for a long, long time. Oh, and I've just been given a, I've just been given a, a painting because I worked at Hesmer Museum for such a long time that I've been rewarded with a very nice picture of our family house, which is a 12th century priory which has a very nice wildlife garden and it's in that garden that I collect many of the plants which you can see here today. Hello, I'm Kay Topping, I'm the Education Officer at Hazemu Museum. I'm here today with the Hype team, which is our teenage group, doing some filming. And I've chosen to be filmed um, by this exhibition, which we've done in conjunction with the Royal School. Um, and it's been, we've been helped out with, with um, funding by the Heritage Lottery Fund. But I've chosen to be filmed here because it's Remembrance Weekend. And the... Um, this part of the exhibition is um, about my husband's uncle, who was awarded the Military Medal and died in 1945. I like this exhibition because it has lots of mythical creatures and made-up stories that I really find interesting, such as this minotaur here. As you can see, it's <laughs> Also, it has like top trump games and everything, so you can have fun while you're... The red light's not on. It's recording. I, hi, I'm Jamie Hollands and I'm here at um, the Hazemere Educational Museum doing Hazemere Hype. I joined the Hype because I really like film editing and um, just all the... and look in, looking in museums. Uh, I have to thank the a lottery fund for by getting all our equipment, like the boom and the camera. We 
like a year ago. We all made a... It's a frog with different colours on it. It's supposed to represent the earth. We all made an individual mark on it. As you can see, you, you can't see now, but we all made our handprints on it. We all put a drawing onto it, like a waterfall or something. It was quite fun, because we did it with the hype team, and we did it with the... We um, did it as a team, so... It's quite a big project, really. <laughs>